Hi everyone, this is another playthrough of me pushing the limits of my professor deck by playing against uh, MBN Fast Advance. Um, I'm only going into a horrible hand. Uh, this is definitely not ideal. There are no money and no draw cards, so uh, I have absolutely no idea how to start off with such a poor hand. Uh, yeah, and I mean the test one scavenge combo is there, but that's about it. Yeah, it's really not ideal, and I draw into a clone chip, so. Uh, it's just bad. So I run and try to scout out what cards he has so that I'll know what kind of deck he is playing. Whether he's flat line base or astrobiotics base, the sand sand doesn't tell much. And I end up discarding the plus creed. Hopefully that's not, that doesn't become my undoing. Alright, so that's uh, probably the sand sand that I should go trash quickly because he got off to a very good start with a hedge fund this week early on. So I run in there and I do trash it. And I run into his HQ again to scout his deck, and I see the biotic label. So that pretty much tells me the whole story. He's either running two or three biotic labels, which means I don't worry about scotch stuff. But unfortunately, I need to worry about astrobiotics. So immediately, I form a strategy. Um, uh, you cannot prevent MBN from scoring the astro script. Once they have biotic label and uh, astro script pilot program in their head, so there are two ways to counter this: either you keep them poor or you lock R and D down. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get an R and D lock anytime soon, and uh, yes, I don't have a count siphon to keep the court poor. So now my only option is to destroy the biotic label. This is much cheaper than trying to get my way into R and D because. Even if I find the correct breaker to get into R&D, you just install more ice over R&D. And that's what Astrobiotics does. Eventually, it will score out the first Astro script and chain from there on. If you cannot get a good R&D lock, um, you're going to lose. So, um, I, there's no point in me fighting a losing battle. Uh, I'll need to get a lot of breakers out just to deal with his, uh, his ability to draw Astro scripts from R&D. So... Instead of contesting that, I'm now building my economy and getting ready to pull out an imp from my stack and destroy his biotic labels. So I get into his remote server, make sure that he cannot use his sense and city grid, and then uh, scavenge the yacht back for a magnum opus so that I could uh, gain some reliable economy. The magnum opus is very important for economy and Yep, it was totally worth it. After breaking through the remote, scavenging, scavenging it back for Magnum Opus because I probably won't need to break into the server again. Now, it's my time to make a move. I install the Imp and run his hand, hoping to hit an agenda or the biotic. And I do hit the biotic, so that's fantastic. Um, I do trash it. And this leaves me in a very good position because now I do not have to worry about his fast advance mechanism since he has got, I mean, since I've really thrown away two of his astro script, uh, two of his sand grids into archives, and now I've thrown away uh, uh, biotic labor as well. So now there's no way he can fast advance without my permission. <laughs> so that's great, and I still have a steam hack in hand, which is fantastic. With uh oh no, it's not that good because I don't have a clone chip to back that up. So that's unfortunate. But now I do have options, and I've drawn the imp that I, I test run earlier, test ran earlier. So, uh, my current hand doesn't give me a lot of options. The only tutor I have is test run, and I cannot use that in the middle of the run. So, uh, I'm forced to play a couple of cards. Oh man, this is unlucky. It turns out that he has yet another biotic label in his hand, and he manages to score an astro script off that. So, that is extremely dangerous because any future astro scripts he finds can be scored from hand as well and he's ready on three points so i'm very very worried my the only thing i can do now is to raid his hand with sneak down beta and i find myself a shipment from sensei not much use there i can only hope that he doesn't have any other astro scripts so um i'm also hoping that this sneak dot install will delay him from any further uh, advancements and it did delay him because it forced him to install a piece of ice on archives, so that's good. Uh, 
I decided to install the imp again because I desperately need to prevent him from uh, using any of his fast and fast mechanisms. And well, he found his third Sen Sen City Grid in his deck. Well, so what can I do? It's NBN. The world is yours with 40 deck size. It's bound to happen. I mean, sure, it's quite lucky that he managed to find 5 of his 6 fast advanced mechanisms so quickly on early on in the game. But um, that being said, uh, now I'm grasping at strings because he has 2 astro tokens and he's on match point. So the only thing I can do right now is to run into every single one of his servers, uh, force him to rest ice so that he cannot uh, pay to score his agendas. Although I know that's useless because he has shipment from Sensen. And force him, yeah. That's all I could do. And at this point, I realized I'm useless because I have not a single icebreaker up. Because I've been too busy this entire game juggling the imp around and trying to get into servers and doing all sorts of uh, funny shenanigans. But I'm not actually making any ground in uh, stopping his fast advance and as a result, I lose the game. Uh, yeah, that was a very, very disappointing play. I thought I was playing very smart with the imp and the sneak down beta, making the fullest use of my programs, but obviously there's a reason why Professor is often known as the weakest runner ID in the game uh, up to this point on a profit, and it clearly shows here. Even though I have all the tools at my disposal, it isn't necessarily the case that these tools are the best to use for the occasion. In that game, it might have just been better for me to assemble a cheap rig and run hard, run fast, lock that R&D because clearly without R&D lock there was no way I was going to win the game. I trashed all his fast advanced mechanisms and look where that got me. It's a 0-7 whitewash. So yeah, feeling very disappointed about this deck. I, I'm looking to try another, I mean to not play this deck. At least not until the next few data packs come out because right now even with all the tools at the professor's disposal, just too difficult to keep the best corps at me. Yep, sad truth because I love the professor so much. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.